So in the background here, I foolishly started a conversation about rating anxiety on um, Lee Shogi. I mean, sure, I've got my own, but like it's amazing. You could see there are dozens of players online at once, and yet, like, it's not super easy to get a game. Oh, Q-I-N, I think, is a word. Um, but like, what do you do? What's a good word that ends in N? Oh, noir, I think, also accepts an E. Oh my goodness. So, something ridiculous like this might be it. Um, like, there's no way I'm getting this right, yeah? Can we agree on that? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't move the modal to show you the board, but it is right there. Well, fuck. <laughs> That's not good. What the hell? Uh, uh, okay. So chi is the life force. Chin is a zither, but it's not recognized in NWL. Noir... Unlike Moir, Noir does not accept an E. And Tuned was something I just made up because I was trying to score a lot of points. Alright, well... Shit. These puzzles are hard. When you don't know the words, and it's... there's, like, no clue... I have to fail this repeatedly in order to get a clue. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, how about Dojo? Good enough. That's a legal move. 24 points. T-I-N-E is not a bad leave. Um. Mm-hmm. Is there a place to put the X? I doubt it. Hmm. Yeah, actually, that's an interesting thought. Um, hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, the fact that, like, everybody's eligible to play the computer opponents uh, might explain um, why so many people play the computers and are afraid to face against humans. That's something. <laughs> Alright, so I still can't find... Well, okay, here, this seems like that's worth a lot of points, right? 38... There's no higher scoring lane. Well, no, there's EX, AX. Um, so this score is about the same. 42 as this 38. Um, let's take a V in front for even more points, whereas up here you can't do that. 
Yeah, we got one. Woo! All right. Um. Hmm. Taxi. Oh, this is. If that's it, that's. This is nice. Yeah. I got one. Um. So, what else could there be? Hmm. I think GU is not a word. AG is a word. Um. It seems hard to score a lot of points here. Unless you, like, can somehow build this space. In general, you'd like to play the U. Um... But I don't see a great play here. You know, I should submit something. Um, oh, hints are available after two attempts. Okay, that's better. For, like, a noob rated as low as myself. Uh, myself here. For a newbie, I would suggest, uh, after one attempt, allow them to get a hint. Because it can be difficult to generate multiple ideas. Um, but I do appreciate that the threshold was reduced from 3 to 2. It's a step in a reasonable direction. But yeah, I just... I have no idea what this could be. Unless there's a word that uses all the letters. But... That seems extraordinarily unlikely. Wait, did I see somebody do this puzzle? Um, or did I just overhear this while I was coding something? I don't recall. Um, it's possible I might have heard of this one before. Well, damn. I don't think this fits anywhere. Well, we could try it. I don't even know what that word means. That really bothers me. Oh, welcome. Welcome, everyone. We're just doing some puzzle solving. Incidentally, I got a word here, annular, that I think I overheard. I was days ago live streaming something, or rather somebody else was live streaming. I was listening in as I was coding something um, for chess or shogi or uh, my Discord bot for Googles or something like that. Um, but yeah, we've got the definition bot here, so we can figure out what these words mean. Um... So, let's see. Also, I think I have a command in here. Let's see. How do I spell this? 5CR4BB13. Oh. I thought I'd customize that command to show, like, hey, this is what this person was doing. Apparently my customized alias broke. I'll figure it out sometime. But yeah, we're just solving puzzles here on Woogles. Um, so, this word does not exist. 
com. Interesting. Oh, okay. It's the ring finger, is it? All right. Regardless, here I am trying to not... My first attempt of the day, I... Uh, I built three phonies into my first puzzle guess. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking here, right? Which can't be right. Um, I see like a line. Um, but yeah, the V in here, a veil. Like, I'm completely out of my element here. So I would be uh, like that guess that Foundering is suggesting there. It's probably as good as anything I'm going to come up with. Uh, wait. Is this really here? Oh. Okay. Where does that fit? A-R-L-E we know is not a word. Um, does this fit somewhere? I don't think so. So, oh goodness, it does fit. Are you sure? No. <laughs> so, um, like, L E is not a word. R A is not a word. There, above this, there doesn't seem to be space, because uh, we run into the L and the N. Uh, I don't see anywhere to stick the V. Uh, so I don't know... Like, is there a prefix hook or a suffix hook on one of these? Like, where would I put this? There's got to be a hook then. All right. Interesting. I mean... Oh, gloving? That might be a thing. I don't know my own language. Maybe you know it better. Yeah, we got it. Okay. During a real game, I would probably miss that. Um, but during puzzles, we've got time to think things through. And maybe just a little bit of assistance. Um, but that's fine. Um, not too ashamed to take it. So the first thing I thought of here was like routine. Which is not here because we have two ends, not one. Um, something starting with R-E or ending with E-R or outer. But like there isn't two ends. Uh, so the next thing that comes to mind is like neutrino, N E U T, neutron. Okay, neutrino, neutron, uh, tomato, tomato. All right, so that fits like here, I guess. Um. Uh, I don't think W-O is a word. I think that might be... I don't know my twos. So... That makes puzzle solving difficult. Um, anyway. Yeah, if my rating goes up indefinitely, that's a problem. So we're going to make some guesses. And not worry too much about the rating aspect of it. Alright, so what is W-O? Okay, so I thought that was Collins only. It's not. It's W-O is short for W-O-E, which means the same thing. Alright. But this way I get an easier puzzle. Um, Vegas? Where does Vegas fit in here. Um, see, when you have a rating of 1371, you don't have to worry too much about losing your rating points. 
because um, they're super easy to get back. You just find the right answers to easy puzzles. Um, and then suddenly you get your points back, so like, I don't have to fear so much for my rating anxiety as somebody who's like got hundreds and hundreds of more points than I do. So I'm not afraid to mess these up. Um, I'm irked to mess them up, but afraid, not really. Um, so yeah, the first thing that occurs to me is senior, but there's an I here. Um, I, like, what in the world could this be? It's probably some high prop thing. Dang. <laughs> Senior with two eyes. I wish I thought of that, you know? Hmm. I-E-S-T could fit if there were an open T, but there's not. Well, I guess another way to look at this is like, hypothetically, if there is something cool, where would it fit on this board? So maybe there's six parallel plays going, no, prelate probably doesn't take anything there. Q doesn't take a prefix. Juicier doesn't take anything after it. So... If there is something, it's probably right there. But starting with the S, that doesn't look like a recipe for success. Um, it'd be cool if there were like Jouster Master or something like that. And like hit the triple, score a ton of points, not get a bingo, but it'd still be fine. But that's not the case here. But yeah, I should have asked like how things are going and welcome, and stuff like that. Try to engage in conversation, because that's going to be more interesting than whatever I come up with. Um, although, whatever I come up with might be hilarious. So SIC and QIs, that's some points. That's 16 points, but that's not enough for an S. You'd want a lot more points if you're playing an S. Um, hmm. NIC, maybe? A network interface card? Or NIC, but that's NIC without the K, but I don't think that's a word. Hmm. Yeah, so senior with the two eyes seems like the standout play at this point. Um, yeah, I have no idea. There's a vowel dump here that could be interesting. Um, I don't see one that's useful. Mm -hmm. I don't see, like zaps with an S there score some points, but I don't see a way to do anything tricky from there. Um, yeah. I I mean, it's either I ask for a hint, or I should probably fail this first and then get the hint. Although, yeah, so this scores some points. That's 21. I don't like the leave, but I'm happy with making this as a guess. I need some easier puzzles anyway. So that's not the right solution. So I'm more than glad to take it. Hang on. Oh, hints are available after two attempts in total. I've made one attempt. But yeah, I'd be glad to take a hint. I'm not trying to game the rating system or anything here. Um, but yeah, I have like no idea what to even consider. This 15 by 15 board is overwhelming for a beginner like me. A bingo. 
Okay. Um. Um. Hmm. Where could the bingo go? Um. Holy moly. That's kind of amazing. How could a bingo fit on this board? O I R E. If I remove those, I stick those off to the side. S I N O I R E. So I almost have like Senora or something like that, but that doesn't. That would require a G. Uh, what in the world? All right, so I'm just going to have to get another hint this time from the website, because, like, that's kind of amazing. So I'm going to see, is NIC even a word? No. Okay, where does it go? This lane. All right. Well, that was one of my many guesses. Um... Uh, D E something, D irons, um, yeah, let's put the E here. Let's see what we got left. Derision. Okay. That's awesome. Cool. Um, yeah, that's a fun one. But for a beginner, this is so overwhelming. Like, even being told this is a bingo and this is where it goes, it still takes me a minute to come up with the right move. Or the right play, they call it. Um, Alright, now here we've got six vowels so this one's not a bingo this definitely can't be a bingo um so that is 39 i don't like this leave however a a i l um so I don't know, is like Azalea available or something like that? No, but Azalea doesn't hit the triple. Uh, it also burns up the L. So maybe this is it. I just don't like it. Um, so, I mean, everybody learns the game as a kid, right? Um, but I have... Uh, there was... I very briefly joined a club uh, at college, but uh, aside from playing at the club a few times and going to a tournament there, playing in the tournament, um, I don't even remember. Like it wasn't it wasn't some super mega commitment of a tournament either. I think it was just like a few rounds or something. But aside from going to the club several times and playing some tournament, it's mostly just been family uh, play. Um, so yeah, I really learned the game as a kid, but yeah, I really don't have um, competitive experience with it.
Uh, I've not done enough word study, obviously. Um, oh, come on. Oh, that's a Collins only thing again. I should know that because the first time I... Okay, um... So yeah, if I were to say, ooh, I've got like decades of experience, what does that even mean? I don't know. Um, I was impressed I once saw an OSPD-1, like the big gray book. It looked really cool. Ah, uh, yeah, competitive experience. Yeah, basically none. Um, other than that one event I remember going to, and I don't remember much about it. Um, but I think if I were to, like, participate in games that I have to play for a significant... Or where there's a huge entry fee, uh, entry fee would be kind of a deterrent if I haven't done enough word study. If I don't think I could win, I don't know, somewhere between a third and a half of my games, and most of that's just going to be because I haven't done word study and I completely lack online or other sorts of experience, probably not going to go around competing anytime soon. Um, but online, there's so many people you can play against on so many sites, even though this is a great site and... Like, why wouldn't you do it on this site? But yeah, I'm just pointing out there are a lot of good options out there, but this is one of the best because it allows you post-game analysis um, and see a lot of things that you missed right away. Um, and this is free open source, but free software is the term. Um, oh goodness, what was uh, Stallman's organization named? Um, I'm coming up with the wrong acronym here, but yeah, the GNU public license, um, that sort of stuff where they use the word free software to stress that you have the freedom to use this and share it, redistribute it, modify it, execute it, all these things, you, you're free to use it as opposed to open source where you might be able to see the source code, but you might not have permission to do a whole bunch of things with it. Um, I like the free software aspect of this site. Even if the code base overwhelms me a bit at times when I'm trying to do anything useful with it. Um, that's my fault. So I've been trying to find something here. Uh, something ending in S and not finding anything. Um, which suggests that maybe that's not the spot. But how could it, how could anything else be the spot? I don't think with a C and a V a bingo is possible. Um, Like, here with this double letter score, followed by a place for an S, with some points that are significant scored across this way, like, this spot plainly suggests itself. But I just don't see a word here. Um, well, these triples are next to consonants, so, like, it's not easy to score those. Right, I'm just going to drop the I here so I can get a hint. Where does it go? All right, I called it. What the heck? Um... I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, your intuition was correct. Um, 
Yeah, I have no idea what's the word. Okay, I've seen this word like a year ago. I forgot about it. Um, oh, I forgot I could also like type. Um, I could click this right here. A metal ring or cap put around a shaft to prevent splitting. Yeah, so you can see that when I click this. Um, all right, next puzzle. Let's go. So what? Oh, um, wow. Okay, one more vowel than I'd expect there, but like, so I don't see a Q or a Z or anything high scoring that's easily accessible. And this V blocks off the lane to the left of it, and I think even the lane to the right of it. So this board suggests itself as like somewhere, if you have a high scoring play, that high scoring play's got to be a bingo. But um, it's not going to be through the E here, because we have four vowels. It's not going to be through the G, because vids doesn't take anything. So... Huh. AHA could be a word, but we'd be looking at an eight, maybe even a longer word. I don't know any word ending in AP or AP something O. Um, hmm. That's not it. Hmm. Yeah, finding a high-scoring play on this board looks hard. Wait, avids would be a group of people who are avid, I guess. But why would that matter? Unless we have a bingo ending in A. Uh, titrate? No. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Hmm. I have no idea. Iterate. Okay. That's my fault. This did briefly go through my mind, and then I scanned over the tiles twice looking for that word. Twice missed it. And figured, well, I don't see it on the rack, despite having tried to count the tiles twice in my head. And furthermore, there didn't seem to be a place to put it anyway. Cager. A basketball player. Okay. Now we know. Iterate and Ariat are uh, the sevens there. That seems like a really common seven, if I had to guess. Uh, all the tiles are worth one point. So it seems like something like a competitive player would know. Uh, let me stick this back and not shuffle it all the time. Sometimes, so I've preferred here putting the tiles in this ordering highest scoring first. Because I've not done study, and since I've not studied words, sometimes just seeing the tiles in order with the uh, highest scoring first makes it easy for me to just pronounce whatever is stuck here, and then I'm like, oh, well, there's a word there. Um... But yeah, all the lists that recommend that you study these words show the tiles in alphabetical order. That's how everybody else does it. That's how it's always been done. It doesn't seem like the right way to do it, but uh, people have done that forever, and you aren't going to convince them otherwise.
So I appreciate that this shows the tiles in the ordering I prefer. Ah, yes, that iterate and R yet are in the top 1,000 most common. That's good. Well, we just have 999 more of those to learn. Uh, there are people who memorize by vol patterns as well. Oh, that's cool. That seems... That's an interesting way to do it. I guess that makes some sense. Because there are only five vowels. Um, so, five plus the Y, but yeah. Um, with the vowel pattern, it'd be easier to pick up, oh, well, I just need this consonant or that consonant, or this blank could be that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Or at least for that subset of words, you could study it that way, sure. And that will give you some idea also, maybe, of like, which leaves are superior to others based on a vowel pattern. It seems a bit of a stretch, but anyway, I'm trying to make a narrative here. Um, E-G-A-L could be a suffix. Um... So, that's a word, right? No. Um, so here, this section is so blocked. So that indicates either we're building across like this, or down like that, or some other amazing thing is about to happen. Some nine letter thing through the H and the U. Um, so this actually narrows it down quite a lot. Um, but you still need to find the word. Um, Q does not take a whole bunch of letters before or after it, so. We can rule out a parallel play here because there's no tile that fits there. Um, a vertical play through the queue is not worth a lot, but could be good equity wise. But with the C and the G, probably not. Um, so yeah, bingo to the L would be fantastic. Ah, yes, if you know the lists, you also know what's not in the lists. That makes sense. I mean, maybe there's something crazy in eight ending in the H, ending with like A-U-G-H or something, or something like that, or C-H. I don't know. I'm going to have to fail this to get some hints. Because, like, I am way out of my element. Um, be cool if there were something here. UN is a nice prefix. U, uh, and then what? Cape with a G? Gun caped? Sure. Oh, it doesn't even fit. Doesn't even fit. All right. Well, it's not that one then. Like, I have no idea whatsoever what to do. So we're just going to submit the same guess twice in a row so that the interface will allow me to ask for a hint. Thank you. Where does it go? This lane. All right. This is now less frustrating than a minute ago. 
Um, I don't know why I had to submit two guesses to be able to ask for a hint, but sure. Change up. Well, that's cool. Um... We don't have a T for, like, expect. Wait, expunge? Nice. All right. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Fooder. It's like feeder up uh, for food. Oh, so what else could it be? See, I might be wrapping up in five minutes or such to head on over to my local board game club. Um, so I appreciate everybody stopping by, but I might be ending soon here. Don't get too attached, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, F road. ED is a nice suffix. A roofed. I don't know. Sure. Oh, a roof doesn't even fit. Alright, I don't get to do my silly phony. I have to try something. I just have no idea. Something F-E-D. Wait. Hey, that's 42 points. That's not bad. Bionomy. Alright. Well, wouldn't it be great to make that an eight-letter word? Uh, that said, if that's not possible, this double-double lane's kind of interesting. But, um, I don't think there's anything fantastic there either. Um, let's make up a word. All right. Um, made up another word. Where on this enormous board should I go? I still have no idea. Um... Eventor. Alright. How many tiles should I play? A bingo? No. That ain't right. How could this be a bingo? I don't even have like a C for converter. So... Uh, what the heck? Uh, yeah, I got me stumped. Um, Tommy, does this go through both? 72. So 72. Here we got a T. Okay, so we got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 times 2 is 22, plus 50 for a bingo. Alright, so this is 
not going to go through both of these. It's either going to go above or below, but not hit both double uh, word scores. That said, I still... Jeez. Uh... That's a lot of hints, and I still have no idea what this could be. Um, overtone. All right. Man, I missed a music term. We have to end it on that. Oh, no. I missed a music term. Well, that ends the run. I hope we all enjoyed this.